Hi guys, hope you're well. Uh, today we're going to do a makume gani and we're also going to do a bit of colour mixing. Um, so you probably saw in the intro photo uh, my inspiration which was just a um, like a home decorating um, colour sheet. So I mixed some clays to get the colours that I wanted to use and I don't want to confuse you by bringing loads of different clays in um, so we're just going to do it in stages and um, what we're going to do is we're going to make this turquoisey green colour first because by adding white we get this and by adding black we get this so we're just changing the value of that colour by adding white and black um, and then this is just gold and this is like a sandy coral colour like a pale coral um, so I'll mix this first then we'll do these and then we'll do these because I don't want to get you all confused with the different colours so all I did to get this green turquoise was mix some green and turquoise so this is um, Primo turquoise 5505 five, and this is Cernit Emerald 620 and we're just going to mix equal amounts guys um, I've had this quite a while so um, it is and you need to make enough that you're going to have enough for your other colours as well, don't forget. Um, so I'm probably going to make a block's worth of colour. Um, so let's... Put that to one side. I'm going to go and mix these two together. Uh, get them conditioned and then we'll come back uh, and mix our uh, light and dark see you in a min okay guys so we've got our base colour and now we're going to cut a piece off to put to one side that we're going to be using and then we're just going to cut this uh, I probably won't need all this to be honest guys um, so I've just got two squares that are similar sized so to get this um, darker colour I'm going to add A little bit of black just undo my black this is just black primo guys and I've done every conditioned everything on a zero in case you're wondering so I'm going to do two parts mix uh, two parts of the green turquoise with one part black and add a little bit more emerald in so for this colour it's one part of our base colour half a part of black and half a part of green the emerald green so that's for the dark bit and then for the light bit it is basically that with the same amount of white I've just got some white cernet rough 
roughly the same amount so I've got equal amounts of the turquoise and white and I am just going to pop a tiny pinch in fact that's way too much a very small pea of black and I'll go and get these two mixed up see you in a minute okay guys so we've got our main mix main mix with black main mix with white I will put a uh, something in the description just so that you remember guys so I'm just going to pop these to one side and of course now we've got the um, sandy coral colour and with this one we need some white clay I need to sort the plastic out on these and trim it down it's driving me mad <clears throat> so I've got one part white and then we need within this a grain of red just like a large um rice grain if you like <clears throat> excuse me and I need to open this yellow and this is just yellow so I've just got um sorry I keep forgetting to show you the colours that's just red 400 and this is just yellow 700 oh and we need about um, a quarter of the amount of yellow to white so one part white a quarter part yellow oh I've got clay under my nails I hope that girl's not watching uh, yeah so there's yellow and red and then what we're going to add to this is a little bit of gold and it'll just warm it up nicely and help it to tone with the gold so put as much as you like in really guys I'm just going to put probably about a quarter again so that's a quarter yellow a quarter gold and a grain of red and of course we dependent on the clays you're using guys you you know your color blending might be slightly off because they all use different sorts of pigments and things uh, so I'll go and condition this I'll go and condition this bit of gold and we'll come back and put Amakume together see you in a minute okay guys we've got all our color mixed these are all on a zero setting uh, because we are going to roll the block a bit and I've just got some cutters out to make some shapes I'm going to keep this one really simple as well guys so let's get a square cutter and I think I'm just going to do two lots of each colour uh, I can make another stack with the bits I've got left over guys so I've got two green I think I should have maybe used a bigger cutter but never mind two of the nice turquoisey colour let me just get these to one side guys so you can see them two of this paler turquoise two of the sand and 
two of the gold. Okay. No, because I want a little bit of... Um, no colours going together. I'm going to just do that one there. Then the next darkest. Then the gold. Uh, then the lightest, that's it. And I'm just going to repeat that. So darkest, sand, mid-tone, gold, and palest. Okay. Let's give these a roll. And I am turning it, guys, just so I know that they're all kind of moving together. And again, with Makume, it doesn't really matter much, does it, guys? Um, as long as you get that lovely mix of colour. And I'm just going to cut this once. some lovely tones in there give it a roll oh with all the um, mixing the clay's got quite soft and I think guys I don't think I'm going to cut it again I think that'll be fine just let me get my squares down and just get this into a nice block and with this I will probably um, I'm not going to make it into a tall block like I normally do I'll keep it flat but still cut quite a thick chunk off Okay, so let's get some patterns going. Um, just going to keep this pretty simple, a little bit geometric. Let me find my little. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut some um, little holes out, maybe using the thinner one. Because uh, I'm going to, I've backed it, I've got some gold clay uh, and I've run it through on my texture mat um, so the gold will show through the holes. Um, Let's see if this one's... I don't know which way to do it. Maybe get a bigger one. Do a couple up here, and one down there. And then I'll just get a porky tool, and if I can find my thick one, and I'll just put some dots through. like that and that's all I'm going to do I'm just going to gently 
squeeze it together. Just to get those joins where we've cut with the tools back through. And that I'm going to leave the holes in. So I just think they'll add a bit of interest. I'm not going to squeeze it too hard on those holes. There we go guys, I'm going to leave it there, I'm going to let it rest and then we'll come and do some slices. I'll go and get cleaned up, let this uh, cool down a little bit and I'll see you in a minute when it's cooled down a bit. Hi guys, so this is rested um, in true calf style, I couldn't leave those scraps so I've just made a block with the scraps we'll cut into that in a minute and I've got my super sharp blade here so I am going to be careful and I'm just going to hopefully guys I'll start at the corner cut myself a nice slice through this oh I think I'm gonna have to attack that again but you can see the pattern there guys you know I'm not very good at cutting with these blades I prefer to stand the block on edge um, so I'm just going to straighten this up a bit and pop these pieces onto this piece of paper I've got here I'm just going to try and get myself some nice slices off Oh, that's looking kind of cool, isn't it? Oh. So there's our pattern that I'm going to... This is the one I'm going to turn into uh, pendants. I will do something with these other bits, guys. But i just like to make sure that I've made something with you. Um, so let's just pop that piece to one side a second and I'm just going to do my usual with this and cut through it. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I just put um, the handle of my um, pliers through it and some dots. Oh, again, let's just pop that bit to one side and there we've got kind of a funky pattern with this one as well. I'll just do another slice, see what we can get out of this effect. Let's roll it down a bit and do it this way. Oh, that looks cool as well some great funky patterns there guys okay let's just pop all these bits to one side and um, what I'm going to do is just pass this through the pasta machine to make it into a two thickness because I've done my backing on a two thickness I won't be a sec okay guys so here's our piece I've put it through on a two I'm just going to bring my backing in and this is just um, some gold on a two setting as well let's pop this down try not trap any bubbles yeah and I've decided to leave some holes in just to add a little bit of interest um, I'll just get a scrap of paper and give this a burnish again I'm keeping it on my um, texture mat guys and I don't burnish the pattern out while I'm doing this Let's 
get this peeled off. Gently does it. Okay, now what to make with this? Fancy doing a nice dome and maybe some matching earrings. I'll just get my little circle cutters. I would like to catch some of them holes in the pattern, so I think. I think I'll do it there. Okay, I'm going to get a bit of cling film, guys, and it um, softens the edges. I know it'll leave me some crumbs, but there's nothing I can do about that. It's just how it is with some of these cutters. Let's pop some film down. Put my cutter over. And there we go. Now then, can I get myself a couple of nice earrings with my little circle cutters? I think I can. Could probably get that hole in. Just want to make sure I've got a nice bit of colour mix with everything. Let me lift this up, then I'm not disturbing that beauty. Let's just pop it to one side a second. And bring this back in. Okay, let's put some film over. I think I do want to catch that. Might do them a bit bigger actually. I think I could just get one there. No, I need to do it smaller. Okay. Oh, I don't know what to do. Hmm. Right, I'm going to leave that, guys. Um, and play around with it some more. Um, because I don't want to be sat here um and hour in for half an hour about what I want to do and then rush. Um, because I just want to make some nice pieces of jewellery out of this. So I'll just bring my little egg poacher in. I've been having a lot of questions about it again, guys. It's just an egg poacher, just a silicon egg poacher. You can get them from most of the bake workshops or online and stuff. In fact, I think I've put a link to Amazon. Okay, let's get this. There's the back, guys, by the way. Let's get this on here. just going to gently press it down with a bit of paper since it's been burnished so well I don't want to spoil it And I'm just gently patting just to ease it into the shape of the mould. It seems to be okay sat there. Okay, so I'll go and bake this. I'll make a little bale out of some gold scrap and I'll pop it on the back. You've seen me do it before guys, I just make a tube of clay and glue it on the back. I'll go and pop this in the oven and I'll see you when we're baked. Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, these are some of the pieces I made off camera, I just made. Um, <clears throat> they've not been um, buffed yet guys. 
um, there's just a square with some matching earrings uh, I'll probably finish them and you'll see the four you'd have seen the four already I just made a little slim pendant um, I made a little brooch the back's not the best um, but probably be me that's wearing it so it doesn't matter just a little brooch pin attachment and of course I made one of my favorite styles that I do a lot I really love I, I've left these holes in just adds a little bit of something different doesn't it same on the brooch there's uh, quite a cool hole in the brooch so yeah there we go guys um let me find something to string this up with just so i can show you not too sure if a oh i'm just reaching for a a cord Put this one on. Just to show you it's strung up of course. Because I like to do that. It's just a simple wire choker. So there we go guys. So going off a little um, inspiration colour chart. I've made some really lovely pieces and I'll probably put them like that and a nice little brooch pin and with the little slithers that I'd done I've just put them onto um, a piece of um, the turquoise that I had left and just let them blend in I'll do something funky with them no doubt right guys I shall leave you there um, hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you all in the next video bye now